Welcome back to Elden Ring everyone. We are back here where Sorcerer Selen is. There's actually some development here. I went back to her, I was trying to clear out all the spells that she could give. And this actually unlocked a new bit of dialogue. So maybe we're getting somewhere with this quest. Which could be good. This is all new dialogue for me, so... That's it? Okay. So I think... Let's get Glintstone stars. I can actually clear shit out. Yeah, we need... We, I... This is... This should be good. I actually like her quite a bit. You wish to continue the lesson? Very well. I help. Hmm. Hmm hmm hmm. Maybe you do need to reset. I listen, if you can't tell already, I've not looked up how to do this quest line, so uh there's that. There you are. Shall we commence the Huh. Really interesting. She doesn't sell anything else. I know like what's supposed to happen. What's supposed to happen is because there's like her clone or something in uh down in the Weeping Peninsula. And I think the next step of this quest is you need to rescue her. Anyways, let's try Glintstone Stars as a spell. If I remember correctly, this doesn't suck as much as some of the other ones. Uh yeah, at least, listen, at least it does some damage, and I do wonder how much. 205. <laughs> this is a, the standard glintstone pebble is too good, man. That's the issue. It's the issue. Like, it's it's just simply too good. Anyways, um, I don't actually know what I was planning. I think... Before we go to Liurnia, which I want to unlock, but before that, I want to go to Castle Morn and clear that part of the game out. Castle Morn should be pretty fast now that I know what I'm actually doing. This is one of those classic Souls areas where if you know what's up, you can clear it out pretty quickly. Uh, you know, I was exploring a lot when I was first here. I was still in the... Look at every nook and cranny of this game before realizing that this game is way too big to do that in one playthrough type deal. Uh, but I do have this place fairly locked down. I think like the big advantage of this spell has to be that it's like tracking, right? Oh, by the way, I did go to the mine. That mine in uh, Limgrave. Unfortunate thing about it is that it only gives level 1 smithing stones, so kind of sort of useless because I'm actually way past that. I wonder how... oh shit, let's actually be on our catalyst. Yeah, I think that's the thing this spell has going for it, is the tracking. I can't think of another advantage. Oh, hello there. But this has been like, you know, it's no secret. I've talked about this and now we're getting somewhere. One of the issues with sorcery or like magic in Souls games is that like the standard pew pew spells are just so good that it's not worth using anything else really. You just get the more powerful pew pew spell, and that's it. You're all good. I hate. <laughs> I hate that I'm like two points of damage away from actually being able to one shot them. The thing we need to do here, though, is I screwed up the last time I was here. 
with the quest. Uh, I couldn't find the guy, but he's really easy to find. It's just I was bad. The stabs used to do a little bit more damage, don't they? Or didn't they? Oh man. So close yet so far. But yeah, I think the weapon upgrades is something I really gotta push. Because... Oh, that would have been... Don't even lie, that would have been a parry. What the? These things have some like weird attacks. I don't know why I'm even doing this. It's just for the souls, just for the combat. Technically, you don't need to kill a lot of things in any souls game or souls like, but let's at least try to make an effort here. Yeah, I think this is the like backhoe path. It all leads to the same place anyways. Oh, hey! <laughs> I didn't know this was here. See? Oh, the Claymore. Did I pick this up or not? Anyways, it helps to actually pay attention in the game, doesn't it? Sometimes. God, my HP. It's not even my HP, it's my defense too. That's the thing that sucks too. And I really shouldn't have gotten... Yeah, the three Cerulean flasks is a bit of an overkill. Not that it's too much of a problem. The thing is, we are pretty close to a side of grace here, so we should be good. Nice little battle going on. Interesting that enemies like can't really damage each other too much. Same thing happens in Kaled as well. I guess they don't want the enemies wiping each other out before the player actually has a chance to fight them. Like here. See if they just like straight up killed each other, that wouldn't have been much fun. Yeah, yeah, this is the thing. My weapon sucks. Uh, that's the big issue here. Taking four hits to kill. Yeah. Not the best. Actually, is there a path here? Or am I... Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, you, you gotta go back up here. This should be... And we drop down and then... Gotta make sure to hit up the dude. The NPC. What did... Because... People were well, telling me that there is a way to sort of like recover his quest line, but I didn't manage to do it. Even though I had like all the correct ingredients by the end, it still didn't work. Oh fuck, god you're annoying. Am I completely, I am completely out of heals. Which is a slight issue when you're getting blasted. What the hell killed me there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lesson learned. Don't fight all that shit at the beginning. I'm just gonna get back here. Yeah, I'm just sprinting like hell back up to the top. And these dogs are... Dogs are the most dangerous thing to me right now. Like, look at how much damage they... Deal so much damage with one simple hit. It's kind of insane. Yeah, I hate dogs in this game. Absolutely hate them. Uh, which I guess the trend continues, you know. 
But especially in this game, they're very, very irritating. Oh yeah, bitch. What the? Thank you. Oh, you climbed up. I am in trouble. I'm not in trouble. I was in trouble for a slight second there. Uh, Pebbles saved me though. How do I only have one flask again? Am I stoned? And I know I should have... Probably a fair assessment would be you should, you should have switched back. See, I would hit that up, but there is no way back. So we got to go through the... The combat section right here. Actually, is there a way back? There isn't. I just screwed up, didn't I? Because there's a way in from... <sighs> That's annoying. That is really annoying. I gotta do this shit again. Well, if we're here, let me at least switch my flasks. Yeah, that should be much better. Alright, back to the start we go. Alright, we're back. Um, yeah, this is not difficult, it's just having to go through the castle again. That was the irritating part. Anyways, let's clear these fools out. All of them. It's kind of a shame you can't, like, team up with any of these guys. Um, are you anything? Houston to... This is a Godric soldier, isn't it? Oh, man. Come in here with the glintstone. They don't stand a chance, do they? Alright. I don't know how he, I even missed this the first time around. Like... It's such an obvious path. I think I chickened out. I was like, there's going to be an enemy encounter. Let's go back. But it was actually the quest for this place. What up? Uh, there's a face I've not seen before. Nine Edgar. Lord Edgar, yeah. As ordained by Lord Godric. Yeah, about Lord Godric. Um, let's not mention that. He has enough problems here. Oh, okay. Yeah, he did give you this. Uh, yeah, deliver the latter. This is what I couldn't do before. And this is how you get the quest line. Right? Yeah. Yeah, this is what I missed. So now... We can go behind the castle and do this hoe. I'll get you your sword, don't worry about it. That Leonine misbegotten doesn't stand a chance. Actually, he might be pretty difficult, just considering like how fast he is and all that. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. We have Glintstone. I, I didn't even like register this dialogue that his issue is being eaten because it's gonna disgrace him. Never mind the fact that you get eaten, boy. It's just it's a bit embarrassing, right? That's the that's the true issue there. Some Hannibal shit, man. I've been rewatching Hannibal, the series, not the movies. So good. I watched it when it was out, like as it was released. The only one I missed out on and I only watched later is season 3. And if there is a show I can recommend wholeheartedly, it's that one. It's so much fun. Well, as much fun as a Hannibal show could be. 
I really like like the style. It's one of the few of these like few of these like mainstream network shows, you know, not something like on AMC or Showtime or Netflix or whatever that is actually like artistic and had some like merit to it. It's really cool. Anyways, there's some treasure here. I should look at some of these Chunai, because I have this curved sword which enhances the guard counter. Enhances this final hit of chain attacks. I don't know. When did I get this? I, didn't, I never even read this. The fetid postule taken from facial flesh. Disgusting. Raises vitality, I mean. Oh, but it gives you death blight. A little bit of death blight. Hmm. Well, we could be wearing that. Don't worry about it. It's basically like a pimple. It's a Godwin pimple. And we just put it on our talisman pouch. So, you know. Whatever your fetish is, player char character. We don't judge, do we? Yeah. Oh, come on. No. Yeah, you can't run off a cliff, can you? This doesn't give you anything. Um. Am I stoned? I'm definitely stoned. What the hell? Something probably fell through. Nice. Definitely, and now there's a challenge for you. Get that item. That's like... Elden Ring challenge of the week. Maybe it's some super secret undiscovered thing. And I just don't know about it. Like when they did that thing in Dark Souls 3 where, you know, you need to walk across the invisible bridge. But that had like some hints to it at least. I think there is an invisible bridge section in this game as well, because of course there is. In one of the dungeons maybe. Or the whip. They have to suck, right? Somebody, somebody's played this game and used the whip. Tell me. Are they worth anything? Are they usable or just like they were in other games? I, I'm assuming the latter. That they just suck. But who knows, maybe whips are like mega OP. In Elden Ring, out of all games. Oh, hello there. I've been playing. I think I mentioned this, right? That I've been playing Salt and Sanctuary. The old one on the Vita, replaying it. I'm not replaying it, I've. I'm playing it. I got it. And, um. Yeah, this is not how you should do this. Just drop down and run to the boss, that's the solution. And I'm playing the Hunter, which starts out with a whip, and it's actually very useful. It's a good weapon. We'll see how it scales later on. But there's like shit like the Sword Cane from Bloodborne in that game, it's like something similar, which is apparently good. It's a fun little game. It, like, with it being the first of these 2D Souls clones, uh, you could tell that they didn't have like everything figured out. Something like uh, Blasphemous does things so much better in terms of like the combat system and all that. This game is still kind of jank sometimes, but the art style is really fun. And apparently the new one is very good, Salt and Sacrifice. 
god. So once I finish this one, God, you have a lot of range, don't you? Mm. I've forgotten what this guy does. He has wombo combos for sure. What? Where the hell is he going? <laughs> Did you see? He just, he just fucked off. He's like, yeah, I killed him or her. I'm out of here. So yeah, the only thing about Solemn Sacrifice is it's not on the Vita. I don't know, I'm liking my Vita so much. It's, I like the Switch too, I'm a big fan of the Switch, but... Just in terms of portability, it's not even a comparison. Like... The PS Vita is like the size of a... Like a Galaxy Note or something, you know? The Switch is a lot harder to actually carry around everywhere. The Vita literally fits into like your pocket or something. Not that I do that much portable gaming, but not that it's summer, you know. Sometimes it. God, I fucking hate this guy. What an Elden Ring boss, right? Anyways, I gotta get my souls back. So yeah, now that it's warm outside, it's fun to just sit outside and game a little bit in the nice weather. To get some fresh air. And the Vita is perfect for that. I lost my souls. I mean, of course I lost my souls. You know it was gonna happen. I knew it was gonna happen. The only th reason I'm not too mad is I didn't even have like a level in the pocket, so... I didn't miss out on much. Oh, fuck. I hate how good enemies are at chasing down in this game. Plus, you know, the really fucked up thing... which I didn't even know until it was pointed out to me... is that healing is slower in this game than in Dark Souls 3. It's so fucked up that this game is as fast or even faster than Dark Souls 3 and has slower healing. Yeah, I totally didn't like put two and two together until I saw it in like a tweet or something. That's why this game feels so fucked up sometimes. It's the slower healing, but at the same speed of the combat system. All right, you know what? I'm bringing out the big guns. Let's see what Banished Knight, whatever his name is, can do. You better be OP as hell. I noticed, by the way, too, that I had a Baldachin's Blessing, which I promptly got rid of because... You know what it does. It reduces your HP. Can you stop focusing on me? Oh, he's actually super overpowered. <laughs> He's just stunning him. Yeah, okay. I had to do it. Is it cheap? It's a little bit cheap. Do I care? Not really. He's actually pretty good. I mean, for these early enemies. You know, just because he probably can stun like the shit out of everyone. Yeah, that's the thing about this guy, he's just he has no stamina or poise or whatever. Alright. The only annoying thing is... I gotta go through the uh, fucking hole of the castle again, right? Because there's no way back from the second bonfire. But let's just check that out because I, I don't believe it. It's like so... That's the wrong one. <laughs> it's like so messed up, isn't it? Oh, got 3,800 souls for that. For a boss. Hmm. Thought I could speedrun strat this, but... 
This doesn't look like you can. Yeah, because you slide off of this. Annoying. Yeah, no, you can't do this. It's not like Dark Souls 3 where you can get on the roof with the branch. Alright, let's go through again. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. I am now super curious about this. This is one of those like smaller quests, but you know, this is one of the goals I had is to really try to do some of the quest lines because they are actually interesting. Of course, on the first playthrough, you're gonna miss most of them. Yeah, I'm sure that's not gonna. I'm sure that's not gonna go horribly wrong. Yeah, definitely not going to ta be taken over by the Three Fingers. Because I think Hayata and Irina are the same, right? I don't know if that's just a theory, like a lore theory, or if that's like actually confirmed. But I think so. Like, the, she dies and the Three Fingers takes over her. Uh-oh. Uh, he's thick. Look at his ass. <laughs> thick. Alright, you have a quest. You're not gonna go hollow. Oh wait, that's not the... It's not this game, is it? That's... Go back to Mr. Godric, and we can go forward now. Yeah. Let's do this. He's just stomping that other guy. Very dedicated, isn't he? His little chair. Alright, Godric. This transition, though, is super cool. I do appreciate that you can go from... Like, you can skip Stormvale, and the entrance to Lyernia that way isn't too bad either. But this, man, like, this is where it's at. Take my grapes. Them grapes though, right? Alright. Because don't tell me this isn't absolutely awesome when you come out of... Yeah, this, this, this is badass. This is badass. Good old Leonia. We will have a lot of stuff to do here. A lot of significant things. Because a lot of the actual items I want are here. And yeah, here she is. Hello? Is someone there? I think this is the same, right? This is the same NPC. I don't know. It's just the eyesight thing. Of course. We're generous. Cool. Let's hit up the bonfire or the grace. Yeah, I think with that, I we've reached the conclusion of today's episode. What I'm going to do here is next time we'll start out in Leonia. Pretty much going to book it to... What you call it? Rhea Lucaria. Hit up a couple of the NPCs and the merchants and all the important stuff along the way. 
yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Elden Ring. If you did, make sure to give this video a like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I will catch all of you next time. Peace out and goodbye.